Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back to My Scratch. And uh, today we have a very interesting video about uh, using uh, graphs. Graphs are very important uh, to learn in physics. Uh, so let's see a few examples today on uh, how to use the graphs. The uh, first question I see here, it says that uh, the position time or position versus time graph of a moving object is shown below. Uh, what is the velocity of the object at time t equals to 4 seconds? So we have this graph. You can see here at the y-axis we see a position, at the x-axis we see time. And what they want us to find is what is the velocity of the object at time t equals to 4 seconds. Now you will notice something here that uh, this position time graph is represented by a straight line. So that can tell us that the um, velocity does not change during this, uh, during this motion. So uh, how can I find the velocity is by finding the slope of this straight line. And if you guys remember, a slope equals to the difference in y divided by the difference in x. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if I take any two points on this straight line, it should give me the slope. So if I take any two points, I get the y2 and the y1, then the corresponding x2 and x1, or x1 and x2, uh, that should give me the slope. So let's do this. Now I will pick up two points. Now the first point has coordinates of x equal to 0 and y equals to 20. So hit x equal to 0 and y equals to 20. So this point, which is my x1 and y1, and then my x2 and y2 is x uh, equals to 4, as you may see, but y equals to 0. Now to find the slope, the slope will equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now what's y2? 0. What's y1? 20. What's x2? 4. And what is x1? 0. So 0 minus 20, that's minus 20 divided by 4, that would be negative 5 meter per second. So the velocity here at uh, uh, t equals to 4 second equals to uh, 5 meters per second. But as you may see, because of the, uh, because of the uh, uh, negative slope, which means that the object is moving in the negative direction, that's why the velocity is also negative. So the negative here means that the object is moving in the negative, um, negative direction. Now let's see uh, the problem number two, and again, all our problems today about graphs. It says that the position graph shown below represents the motion of a ball being rolled back and forth by two children in 20 seconds. So now I know that the time is 20 seconds. What is the average speed of the ball? Okay, so now we have two children who are two children who are um, uh, rolling uh, a ball back and forth. Now you can imagine a situation if you roll a ball back and forth between you and your friend. You throw the ball to him. He will hold the ball for maybe a second or less. Then he will throw the back the ball back to you. Then you will hold it and then you will throw the ball back to him. Right. So let's see if we can understand this from the graph. Now here the y-axis, I see a position and at the x-axis I see the time. So at negative six, this is where the first child is sitting. So let's see. So, um, so the first child, what he will do is, uh, or she'll do, um, to throw the ball to the uh, second child. Now the second child here at six, now he or she will hold the ball for a few seconds, then, uh, then the child will throw the ball back to the first child. Okay, so, so let's understand this one more time. 
So this is the first child and this is the location of the second child. So the first child will throw the ball, the second child, the, the second child will hold the ball for a few uh, seconds, then he, the second child will throw the ball back to the first child at the uh, negative six. So if you want to know what is the total distance between the two children, so from negative six to zero, that would be six meters. And from zero to six, that would be another six meters. So the total distance between the two children is, um, is how much is 24 meters. So if you wanna find what is the average speed, it would equal to the total distance divided by the total time. The total distance is 24 and the total time is 20. 24 divided by 20, that would be 1.2 meter per, per second. So remember that when you see the ball's posi position is not changing, that means that uh, the ball is in the hand of one of the, uh, of one of the two children. Now the problem number three says that in problem number two, what positions are the two children sitting? We want to know where is the first child and where is the second child? Now, as I mentioned in the problem number two, that the first child is here and the second child is there. So the positions are minus six and the uh, plus six. So as I mentioned, the first child will throw the ball, the second child will hold it for a certain time, then the second child from six, he will throw the ball back the first child at negative, at negative six. Okay, so let's move on to more and more and more graphs. And uh, I see here a problem that says, uh, a bicyclist has the position versus time graph shown in the figure below. What is his average speed in 40 seconds for zero, 40 seconds? So you can see here, I have the position time for uh, the uh, for the cyclists, and you can see we have uh, three segments of three parts of the graph. So I have segment one, I have segment two, then I have the segment three. What we want to find is what is the average speed. Uh, so we want we know that the average speed equals to the total distance covered divided by the total time needed to cover this distance. So let's see how much distance was covered in the part A. So in the part A, I have, I started, or the cyclist started from 50 and he ended at 100. So the distance covered is 50 meters. Okay, now then at the second part, you can see the time is moving. The time moved from 20 seconds to 30 seconds, but the position did not change. So that means that the, that the distance covered here is equal to zero. Then at the last part, part number three, uh, the cycle started from 100 and he ended at zero. So how much distance was covered? That is 100 meters. So the first part, the distance is 50, second part is zero, and third part is 100. Now, what is the total distance? It's 50 plus zero plus 100. Now, how much time um, uh, he spent to cover the whole distance? As you may see, the total time is 40 seconds. It's also written here, 40 seconds. So, Add total distance by total time, that would be 150 divided by 40, which is 3.75 meters per second. Okay. Uh, now let's see uh, the uh, problem number five. And the problem number five says, uh, the figure below describes the position of an object as a function of time. Again, position versus time. How much this is the displacement of the object in 8.0 seconds? Now, here's asking us about the displacement, which is a difference between the 
starting point and the finish point or the or the point at the object where, where the object uh, finished its motion but we must take direction into consideration so you can see that the object started from zero and then the object moved like this then he did not move them it moved in the opposite direction then again i see and um, it, it did not move again so if i see the starting point is zero and the finishing point is three so what is the difference between them it is three minus zero so the total displacement becomes three is it plus or minus we can see it is in the positive um, a positive y or positive direction of the motion so that tells us that the answer is three meters so remember that the displacement is what is the difference between the end point and the starting point taking direction into consideration now let's look at the problem number six and it says that the figure below which is um, this figure uh, describes the position of an object as a function of time so again you have position and you have time but you can see here uh, um, there are there are some there are some directions here that tells us that if i move up it's north but if i move down it is south so moving down like this is moving towards the south and moving up like that is moving towards the north north so what is the average speed of the object in five seconds okay so the total time is how much is five seconds and what is the uh, total distance now how to how to find the uh, total uh, distance here now i need to check i start here from three i ended up at one so how much distance was covered three minus one that is two now at this part no distance was covered and why is that because as you can see the time is moving but the distance is the same so no distance was covered in the second part but at the last part we started from one when at three so the distance covered was two so here we have two plus zero plus two divided by five that would be four divided by five which is 0 0.8 uh, seconds uh, 0 0.8 uh, meter per second so the unit here should be a uh, meter per uh, per second so if he wants to find what is the average speed it would be again the total distance divided by the total time which is 0 0.8 uh, meter per a second Okay, so I hope you guys uh, understood uh, graphs in a better way now, how to calculate the average speed, how to read, a, a how to read the graph, and, and so on. We'll try to post uh, more videos about graphs uh, very soon so you can know other tricks of reading graphs and how to solve problems uh, with graphs. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video, and bye now.